billions of dollars meant to pay the bills for some of the state's most vulnerable missing. Now the state wants to take over the nonprofit that controls the money as investigators zero in on a man who's made headlines in the past. News 13's Chris McKee is on special assignment. They're easy to miss in a small downtown office. But state regulators say the major financial havoc caused by a nonprofit Albuquerque trust fund will be felt by dozens of the state's most fragile people. How big a deal is this? It's huge. I mean, I, I just can't emphasize what an egregious, outrageous thing this is. The outrage is aimed at Desert State Life Management, a trust that manages private funds for people who are either mentally or physically disabled and incapable of paying their own bills. The state says DSLM can't account for millions of dollars. How much does the state believe is missing? Well, we think at this point at least four million, uh, possibly more. Mike Unthink is the superintendent for New Mexico's regulation and licensing department, which is now trying to take control of DSLM. The most vulnerable of people are caught up in this problem. I mean, how would you feel if all of a sudden you got the phone call and said, oh, by the way, I know that uh, X number of dollars you had that you thought was in your account is now zero and we won't be paying your light bill this month. Sorry, that's the situation. A court filing outlines the problems surrounding the trust and a bizarre story about the person running it, longtime CEO Paul Donisthorpe. Now, January 5th, they made a terrible decision, and, and it, there's absolutely no excuse for it. You may recognize Donis Thorpe. In 2005, he faced a judge for a second drunk driving charge. In his first DWI in 1990, he killed an Albuquerque school teacher. State records show Donis Thorpe's also been running Desert State Life Management for about 30 years. It would appear from uh, talking to some of his uh, staff personnel, uh, he was pretty much the man in charge of everything. The state now wants full control of Desert State Life Management's money. Investigators say the trust fund has legitimately paid out about $800,000 to its roughly 70 clients in 2016 and should have about $5 million left in accounts. But investigators say DSLM only has about $926,000 remaining for its clients who can't perform simple tasks. Filling out a check to pay your utility bill, your rent, uh, to buy your food, all of those aspects. So where did all the money go? According to a court filing, DSLM's bank records showed, quote, numerous drawdowns of funds from DSLM client trust investment accounts and the money was then transferred to accounts of businesses owned or partially owned by Donisthorpe, possibly in other parts of the U.S. We're noticing uh, activity of an interstate nature. And where is Donisthorpe? The state opened its routine audit on DSLM in January. By February, Donisthorpe sent investigators an email thanking them for updating him on the investigation timeline. But since then... Have you heard from Mr. Donisthorpe? Uh, not directly that I'm aware of. RLD investigators haven't heard from or seen Donisthorpe. His wife told investigators he had a stroke and brain damage, but the state doesn't know if that's true. No one was at the Desert State Life Management offices when we stopped by this week. And I'm trying to reach Mr. Paul Donisthorpe. And Donisthorpe didn't return our calls either. Meanwhile, he and his wife own a second home in Angel Fire that's now on the market for almost 900,000 bucks. While investigators are looking for more potential victims and say they'll do everything possible to recover any missing funds, it's likely a rough road ahead. What is the likelihood that the people who are missing money will get that money back? Pretty rare. Normally when it's gone, it's gone. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. While the Regulation and Licensing Department is encouraging anyone who's had dealings with Desert State Life Management to contact them, the feds are also looking into this case for possible criminal charges. Open the KRQE News app now for a full look at the complaint filed against the trust company.